Hello besties, oh, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell by the thumbnail, this is a pick a pile reading. What do you need to know? What is coming in the next chapter of your life? We have three piles with three decks in front of us. 333 three, three is definitely the energy and you know, we'll spill everything you need to know. Could be about career, love, finances, you know, friendship, family, all of the above. And so if you enjoy this, let me know what pile you pick in the comments below. And while you are there, hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. That lets me know you want more of these readings. But we have three piles, as I said. The first one is this go with the flow, this little wave. If you pick this one, go jump to the description to know what time your reading is starting at as well for you are pink starburst is number two and then the third one is catch flights not feelings so check out the description and go to your reading but for 111 go with the flow is up first so go with the flow is kind of you know embracing things releasing the need to control the who what when where why right and you could be uh, traveling as well with the waves that makes me think of you know escaping the cold as we move into fall as i'm recording this and embracing the sunshine but what is coming your way a pile one you are making investments in yourself you could be a taurus you could be putting time energy and effort into some sort of situation or a person it's growing you've persevered all those trials and tribulations and you're ready to transform the wheel of fortune is turning in your favor tens are all about closing out karmic cycles this is good luck this is destiny the wheel of fortune has to go ahead and slow down before it can speed up. And I think you really are truly embracing this side of karma and this financial new beginning, this refresh. Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus season might be prominent in this next chapter of your life of this financial freedom, stability. You've been investing in yourself, investing in your resources, your skills, and now your business is going to be thriving. You might have multiple streams of income you know, monetizing something, you know, if you are a content creator, there's this ability to have this, this savings account, this freedom, no longer living paycheck to paycheck, this lack scarcity mindset. And you manifested this, you are the queen of pentacles, once again, another Virgo card, but you have this ability to take care of your business and take care of your home life. You're responsible, you're nurturing, you know what you want, need, and desire, and you're not afraid to get after it. And with that, you're finally getting the recognition you deserve. You are the star, baby. There's a lot of eyes on you. Eyes on you by Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj might be relevant for you, but you've healed. You've really taken this time to have this introspection, reflect on what's working, what's not working, and realize that the spirituality is coming forward in your life the more time you give to yourself your mental physical and emotional health it really is allowing you to stand step up into your independent wealth your financial freedom this is fuck you money this is abundance collecting on those pentacles but this is not an easy feat this came through hard work you know your investments you maturing you really embracing this freedom and what it means to work hard, play hard. I think your wishes are finally coming true and are going to be fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. This is wishing upon a star and chasing your dreams, having this optimism, this positivity, this freedom, but this rewards, right? This is your ideal life that you manifested. You might resonate with making those five, ten minutes with yourself in the morning before you pop out of bed or grab your phone, visualizing how your day goes and really being successful in that energy. Yeah, your money issues jumping to LaRoche's deck are coming to an end because of this hustler, this boss babe mentality, this ambition, watch my footwork. I'm going to go after this. I'm going to do X, Y, Z. You can either get aligned or get out. You might r resonate with giving up a lot of time, energy, having those receipts, having to turn down other plans 
to focus on your business, but it's paying off. Someone could be reaching out to you, whether this is a collaboration, a job offer, a promotion, a bonus. You are kind of like proof is in the pudding. What did you just read? But this is because you are a whole entire vibe. Your energy does not lie. What you put out, you're going to receive back. You're very magnetic at this point in time and embracing the energy and the scope of this Rihanna card. You were meant to shine. Shine bright even if it hurts their eyes. There is a lot of energy of I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to you will simply find you. And you're ready to shine bright even if it hurts their eyes. Standing up for what you believe in, chasing your goals, and really manifesting in exactly what you want, need, and desire. I do see with this information, you're ready to keep it on the low. As you have this abundance come your way, these rewards, these opportunities, you're going to have to make moves in silence. Not everyone is going to be happy for you. As you elevate your life, jealousy is a real thing. And you will need to protect your energy while you elevate. I do see that you are embracing and stepping into this king or queen of pentacles. You could also be att attracting in a Capricorn Virgo Taurus in your life that wants to be your provider. Or you could be a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. But this abundance, you're accepting all positive outcomes. You know, you're grateful, present in the moment. And I'm telling you, you're happy with the choices that have really happened in your life because you've taken that moment, you've taken that step back to love yourself, have that self-care, be happy, be present in the moment. And I think it's taken a lot of hard work. You know, you've had to face those demons, appreciate yourself for the good, the bad, the ugly, and really work on that shadow work and heal yourself. 555 five, five will definitely be very prominent in your life that there will be rapid change coming in. There's this sudden news, this epiphany, this transformation in your life. And you're receiving what you need. You're progressing, you're moving forward, and you're moving on. You're receiving the closure that you need. Your ship of abundance is coming in. Full steam ahead. You cannot stop this, my love. And this is going to give you your ultimate stability, your security. You've had the patience. You've gone through this. You've learned endurance. You've learned to be patient and wait for good things to come your way. And I'm telling you, you're about ready to live your most abundant life in your next chapter. Be positive. Accept all positive outcomes. Manifesting exactly what you want, need, and desire. You are grateful. You are present. And this bliss is about ready to transform your life. You deserve this pile one. Let me know in the comments below by putting a wave. And make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell to make sure you are tuned into all the next readings I have coming your way. I love you, pile one, and I'll catch you on the flip side. But pile number two at eight minutes, we have you are a pink starburst, which if you're lying to yourself if you don't think that pink starbursts are the best starbursts. But this makes me feel like you are the best. You are manifesting in the best. And you're not going to settle for less. But make sure you go ahead and put that candy in the comments below if you chose pile number two. But you are manifesting in a divine masculine, a, a daddy energy. This is someone who is stable, reliable, secure, knows what they want, is dependable, and, you know, sets their mind to it and is ready to capitalize on this energy. I think you're releasing the past. You're focusing in on the future, maturing. Maybe this is releasing toxic people, places, and things in your life pile number two. But you're seizing of opportunities. You're letting go of regret. You're taking this chance on yourself and ending the stagnation. You've been motivated. You've been excited about the future. When the Four of Cups is upright, it's kind of like a no thank you, ma'am. I'm going to do what I want. But you're ending the stagnation. You're releasing that stubbornness. And you're ready to move into this new chapter of your life. This world card is a success. Lucky number 21, closing out of a chapter. Feeling a sense of belonging and wholeness in your life like you have purpose. But the universe is going to give you the sign of 000 that this is coming your way. You could see this on a license plate. You are being asked to take this leap of faith. Take this risk. You know, this lack of commitment, this fresh start, this new beginning, be spontaneous and really embrace in a lot of peace, balance and serenity has came in your life. But, you know, it's it's the calm 
or it's the storm after the calm, you know, ready. It's you're ready to level up and receive the abundance, the rewards, the success that you deserve, this harmonious relationship, potentially a soulmate connection. You're looking forward to the future. You're no longer looking back at the past and you're ready for this new future. I think you have the confidence, you know what you want, need, and desire out of a relationship, a career, and you're no longer going to settle for less. Your hard work is paying off and you're ready to experience life. I am telling you, you are bringing in this love interest. Gemini season might be prominent to you, or you could be attracting a Gemini Aries, but this is a shared relationship, an equal give and take, shared morals, values, ideals. The same sexual desires that you want and bringing this in for the long haul. It's kind of like 11-11. You've been manifesting in this partnership. This person that makes you feel like you belong. There could be a wedding. This could be your forever person in the next chapter of your life. But I'm telling you, there will be a lot of domestic bliss, happiness, pile number two, because you are bringing in this relationship, this happily ever after, this family unit. It's the white picket fence, the house, the dogs, the kids, the cats, everything you want and more. You could be dealing with a Leo who wants to be needy right now, but we love Oliver J. Yes, we do. But no longer go ahead and doubt yourself. Don't self-sabotage this. Fear that you're not good enough for when this person comes in. It's going to be the person that just feels right. That is no longer love bombing, a narcissist, gaslighting. You're done with that karmic energy. And you really are protected by God, universe, source. You are the chosen one and you're ready to stay in your lane and elevate your life. Divine timing was definitely at play here. So with the 777 energy, there's different bloodlines, different timings in life. And the universe said you had to work on yourself, reflect, do what you need to do before you are able to have this emotional connection. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but someone is definitely deep in their feelings, Drake energy about this connection. It definitely is your twin flame, so maybe that's why it's felt hot, cold. You're closing out that chapter. You're ready to come together into union. This is someone who is mirroring you that has insane chemistry. They regret how they treated you, disappointed that they wish that they didn't do that. They're ready to give you this apology and really come forward and offer you what you've always wanted, what you need and desire. They're ready to chase after this connection, fighting for this bond, remembering this connection. The roles have reversed. Their mask is coming off, my love. They're ready to show their true intentions and their true feelings. Have faith. Love is coming. There's a surprise invitation or hesitation Maybe in February around Valentine's Day, this will come full circle, but you're mirroring each other. You're reflecting in on your wounds. You're healing yourself. If you're the divine feminine, you're learning to love yourself, be okay with being alone. And this person's learning to ask for help, wanting a deeper connection. And the relationship is evolving. It's kind of like a butterfly. You must start out as the caterpillar, go into the cocoon, and then transform into a beautiful butterfly. You're healing your inner child. You're ready to move to the next phase. And someone's thinking of you and letting you know it's definitely this twin flame energy. They're ready to manifest this in and really see where things go. This is a passionate connection. This is a once in a lifetime connection. You only have one twin flame. This is insane chemistry, liking each other equally. And with this unconditional love, that means you're ready to fall in love and give what you receive back. You're not going to settle for breadcrumbing or this half-assed behavior. But I am telling you with the Paradise card, this is the happiest card in the deck. This is kind of like the Sun card that you are really expanding, enjoying each other, enjoying the moment piled to, and really experiencing this happiness. You could be traveling with the beach scene here and really being present if you are long distance. But I love this so much for you, pile two. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Put some candy in the comments below to let me know you picked pile number two. And I will make sure I will catch you on the flip side. I will see you later. But pile number three, we have this at 1434. Catch flights, not feelings. 
So you could be traveling, maybe you're over the bullshit, focusing in on you, loving yourself, appreciating what the world has to offer. But pile number three, make sure you put an airplane in the comments below to let me know that you chose pile number three and we'll see what you need to know. But yeah, there's definitely this ending of regret. There was this missed opportunity feeling like things were out of your control. You could have been dealing with a Leo uh, here, but you manifested a new beginning, a new cycle, which we love to see. You're standing in your creative power and your energy, manifesting exactly what you want, need, and desire. And really, you can see with the magician, they have the cups, the swords, the wands, and the pentacles. So this could be a new beginning in multiple areas of your life. Maybe you manifested this with the 8-8 eight, eight portal. Eight is the number of abundance, but dealing with a Leo, once again, you're finding this inner strength, this bravery, overcoming any self-doubt, putting your focus in your mentality on something and ready to experience this new beginning, this new opportunity and love. It's like you've learned to fill up your own cup. Now it's overflowing and you're ready to experience this romance and come in full circle this is your ideal man or woman, which we love to see. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But they're following their heart. They're very attracted to you, and they're ready to fulfill this fantasy, these new ideas, these new proposals coming forward with this duality, this partnership, the love, this equal give and take, this soulmate energy. There's a lot of attraction, mutual love, an equal give and take. You're no longer being breadcrumbed. And they're coming forward and confessing their feelings. This might be one person from the past and a new person. But I think you're ready for this new, new, you're catching flights, not feelings. It's when you least expect it. And with that, the ultimate happiness is coming forward with the sun card. This is experiencing the moment, you know, good luck is on your side. You're standing in your truth and you're receiving exactly what you want, need, and desire. You could be having this creative spark. This could be some good dick, some good sex energy. But, you know, you're finding this new passion. You're excited. You're being renewed. There's this new chapter. And you're accepting help and realizing you don't have to do this alone. And with that being alone, the entanglement, past life lovers, new lovers. So multiple people are interested in you, ready to express how they feel. Like I said, we had someone missing you from the past, reviewing your old photos and videos. They're stalking you on social media, maybe on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, seeing what you're up to. But I think you're releasing that. You walked away. You were like, you had your last chance. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on. I deserve better. And this new person that's coming in might differ from your normal type or expectations with the chain diet change. There's a change in morals, values, ideals. You want someone who is stable, reliable, secure, that's going to build a house and make it a home, right? You want someone that has that domestic bliss, you know, that you have more in common with. And this person is about ready to reach out. This could be a secret mire. Call, text, communication arrives. Can we just talk? I think it's going to be up to you to make the final decision. Solar plexus chakra, standing in your free will. You've already chose yourself time and time again. It's to, time to continue that pattern of behavior and realize that you deserve love. And this person, the soulmate that is coming in for you, fell for you. There's this unconditional love, strong attraction, affection. Please love me back. And this passion, this insane chemistry is unlike anything else you've ever felt in your life. You're done with the karmix. It's really embracing this energy of the new, new, this passionate, knowing what you deserve and knowing that you deserve this life partner union, this romantic or close friend. We give each other a boost. And this is all because you've taken the time to heal your heart. Maybe you've been single for quite some time. There's a freedom from toxic relationships, addictions, you know, codependency, toxic patterns of behavior. This needed to be completed before this person, this new person could come in. It's on time limit, on time exposure. You need to take time to heal. You're ready to welcome in love. You're ready to meet the one. I think, you know, maybe you've had your heart locked up for a little bit. It's time to open up your heart chakra and realize you are the phoenix rising from the ashes. You're moving into this new phase, this new era, this new passionate beginning of your life only because you've learned to transform 
grow and change your mind, being able to adapt and experience new things. This came because you spiritually ascended. You've overcame any obstacles. You've learned from your past mistakes. You're preparing for union. And as you elevate, you can't take everyone with you. And I think you truly are realizing this. And you want this soul connection. You want this soulmate, this partnership. Someone who's going to be there for the good times, the bad times, the ugly times. And has a soul contract with you. You're not going to go ahead and deal with this half-assed energy anymore that maybe previously you got with your twin flame. I would not be surprised if this person comes back. Your twin flame, as you are meeting your soulmate, to kind of figure out, have you changed? Are you really ready for the new? And how do you adapt, my love? But pile number three, I love this for you. Make sure you put an airplane in the comments below. If you went ahead and picked this pile and you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell so I'm aware that you know when I post and you can get all the tea and nothing but the tea at any point in time. You deserve the world, pile number three. Know your worth and catch flights, not feelings. I will make sure to catch you on the flip side, bestie. Take care of yourself and each other. Bye, loves.